If Animals Kissed Goodnight by Anne Whitford Paul and David Walker. In this age of political divisiveness and racial and sexual tension, I think that we're all eager to find one thing that we can agree on. Well, Anne Whitford Paul and David Walker have finally given us one thing we can unify around. Kids need to back the heck up. Mommy and Daddy need their personal space. Back it up. We get it. You love us. Sometimes it's fun playing Cuddlebug, but not every second of every day. Girl, we can't breathe. We can't breathe. You think you're light? You're a full human being. You weigh like a full human is sitting on top of me. I'm an introvert. I need my alone time. I can't have my alone time with you sitting on top of my chest. No, Daddy doesn't love YouTube more than you. I don't go to work every day doing something I hate so that I can put food on the table for YouTube. However, YouTube doesn't demand my full attention every second of every day. I willingly sink hours of my life into YouTube because for those precious seconds, I'm not the dad of a whiny little illiterate idiot of a four-year-old. And babies, don't think you're getting off scot-free. You're the worst offenders of all. Oh, but I need mom's body to feed me. Well, I need mom's body to feed me. Figuratively. And no, I'm not saying we need to toss out all the children and babies in the world. But let's take advice from this elephant and just push our kids away just a bit. Just put a few feet between you and those needy, grubby little snots. I am an American, and I believe in the American dream. But I believe that when we allow our kids to crawl all over us like we're human jungle gyms, that we're slapping Old Lady Liberty right in the face. And that face is bold and beautiful, and nobody wants to hit that. For reminding me how truly awful physical contact with children is, I give If Animals Kissed Goodnight a 7 out of 10. Book, 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 book.